Okay, I want to talk to you about using the debugger in Eclipse when you're writing Python code. Um, and I'm just going to assume that you already have the um, Pac-Man test code that I gave you, so um, you know I can run it by opening the row and main test, whatever it is. Run me, and I hit play, um, and magic, I get the Pac-Man game, right? Um, and what I want to do is I want to manually stick a bug in the program and then show you what we could do to fix the bug. So what I'm going to say is open up the game.py file in here and go most of the way down. Where is it? Um, somewhere in the run there's a loop. Here we go. All right. What I want you to do is on line 614, it looks like, um, what we're going to do is instead of it saying while not self dot game over, we're going to just change that to game over with two R's. Okay. Obviously, this is going to not work. Um, if we just run this again, and of course, we could say run as, I have my configuration, so I could run that configuration or run as Python run, right? Um, it's auto saving my uh, files for me because um, uh, because I uh, told it to at some point. Let's just try that again. Why did that not work? Let's try run Pac-Man. Oh, because I'm in game and game doesn't do anything. Oops. Yeah, common error, right? I said run this as Python run. Well, it's not main, so it's not going to do anything. So let's go back out here and let's do run run as Python run, and I'm going to run uh, this guy because I actually have some other stuff in there. Oh, and look, it broke. Game over. Game, uh, well, sorry, something crashed, right? And we can look here and we can see um, sort of the, the path that it went through, right? So it was in... Uh, the main and that called this run game which started that which ended up in here and then we got this error okay, great so you might be able to fix it just based on the um, on the error message but let's pretend for a minute you couldn't then what do you do well just like with any um, decent IDE uh, Eclipse has a built-in um, debugger. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to set a breakpoint here. So I'm going to right click to the left of the number 614 and say add a breakpoint, right? So to the left of the line number, right? Now if I just run this again, it's not going to stop at the breakpoint. It's just going to keep going, blah, 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 come on, chug, chug, certainly taking its time. Oh, I'm in game again. I'm trying to run game. Oops. If I'm here and I have a breakpoint in game, it's not going to stop anything if I run, right? Yeah. Um, and in fact, in order for me to stop running the game one, I'm going to just very quickly go into my run configurations and I'm going to find the one that says run the game module. And I'm just going to delete that by hitting the delete key. Okay. Delete. Good. All right. So now, um, Oh, you didn't see. I was in run configurations. You saw most of it, right? And I just clicked on the one I don't delete. Okay, all right, let's get rid of them. Um, so if I am in game again, and now if I just click on run, it's going to ask me again what kind, and I'm going to be like, Wah, why is it doing that? So let's get rid of that. All right, so that should give me a hint. So I'm going to go in here, but but game notice still has this breakpoint. So I'm going to go into um, the test run me again. Let's run it. Still shouldn't work, right? Da -de -da. Oh, look, popped up, broke. Okay, so if I want to run it in debug mode, so it stops at that breakpoint, I have to go into the little debug tool, right? And I can either just click on the um, the debug uh, little bug, or I can tell it which one I want to debug, which configuration I want to debug. Let's just hit the debug. So chug, chug, it starts to run. And now, um, can I move this over? OK, you probably can't see it. Oh, here we go, right. But but there is a, um, there's a window here, right? It started up and it says not responding. It's sort of frozen while, while um, I'm in the debugger. 
Um, it says confirm perspective switch. This kind of launch is configured to open the debug perspective when it suspends. You do you want to switch to this perspective? Um, I'm going to say switch, but I'm going to say remember my decision because whenever I run the debugger, I automatically want to go into um, the debug perspective. Remember, I talked about perspectives before. Up here, this was the Java perspective, which we're not using for our class. There's the debug perspective, or sorry, the, the Python perspective that we've been using. And huh, there's also a debug perspective that you may or may not see the first time I've debugged before. So, And I will now say remember my decision, and I'll say switch. Aha. So now I am in debug mode, right? Now stuff is way better. It's it's um, I have this debug menu that sort of tells me where am I um, with respect to stuff. You may or may not see this this window. If you don't see this window, you can say window uh, show view, and you can say show the debug view, and then it'll pop up. There it is. Um, anyway, it has stopped at my breakpoint. And I can now look in here um, at my uh, at my variables, right? And in here it says while not self dot game over. And I think I probably opened this up when I was prepping for um, making this video. But it's got globals. It's got um, a variable called agent. It's got a variable. Uh, it's got the self, right? For this particular object, you could open that up and see what's going on in there. I'm going to open up self. I'm going to say, huh, self dot game over. Oh my goodness, look, it's self dot game over. Now it might have been that, you know, I wanted to see what the value was. I wanted to step through and look at values. You can do that with this um, with this stuff too. But let's just um, stop the debugger, right? You need to stop the debugger because right now I've still got this guy there. And if I just go back into um, the regular Python perspective and I hit run, um, well, I'm in the wrong window anyway. If I go in here and hit run, I think maybe it's not going to work. Maybe it'll work. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, it didn't. Well, okay. It didn't work because the bug's still there, but it did run, so that's good. Usually, if I'm in debug perspective, and I want to kill this stuff anyway, right? Uh, you can't see it, but I want to I want to get rid of this, this window. So I'm going to hit the stop button. All right. Um, and it all stops. It also has the standard step over, step into to let you explore and just go kind of step by step through your program. So, but let's 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 fix this bug and then maybe I'll show you just a little bit about that step over, step into. Where's there we go. So one, right? Okay. So and I looked up when we were running, and so I'm gonna change it to game over regular old one. I'm gonna go back to my regular perspective. I'm gonna try and run it again. Oops, except it's, you know, oh, I'm still in the game because there's multiple files. It's a bummer. Maybe instead of doing that, I should I should be over here in game, but I should just click on this and I should make sure that I run the perspective that I want to. Sorry, run the um, uh, the implementation. What do we call it? I forget what it's called. Anyway, run the thing that I want to. And now it's actually running. I could move the Pac-Man so that I don't get eaten up, but there you go. All right. So let's stop that. Um, and I can actually um, get rid of a uh, breakpoint by just right clicking on it and saying remove breakpoint, right? Okay, so let's look a little bit deeper about other things you can do with the debugger. Let's um, let's stick a breakpoint right here, two lines down on, um, so I'm gonna right click and say add breakpoint on line 617. Um, it's the line, hopefully your line number is the same as mine that says move underscore time gets zero uh, inside of my game, um, uh, game.py, right? Where is it? Game.py uh, file. So um, what I'm going to do is I am, um, let's um, run the debugger again. Oops. And of course, again, I started the debugger when I was in game. I don't want to do that. Let's start the debugger and tell it exactly which configuration I want to do. Or I could just hit, yeah, let's do that. All right, so it's running, it's all going. You saw the Pac-Man thing started briefly, and now I'm in here. Now let's look down here again. Um, really, we've got sort of three, uh, three sets of variables here. We have a variable called, or I guess it's an object called agent that has some stuff inside of it, right? More objects and whatnot. Um, we have an object called self, which right, 
Okay, it's all stuff in it. And then we have um, three just sort of, oh, and we have this globals thing, which I can't honestly tell you whether that is, I believe, yes, these are the actual honest to gosh global variables. So if you look, they are mostly um, variables that are coming from outside, right? But anyway. Um, but down here, there's three additional variables that are just um, exist in the um, in the state that we're in right now. Agent index is value two as an int. I is value two as an int. Num agents is um, three as an int. Okay. Um, when I stop here and I look, I just want to see what's move time before we set it to zero. And I panic because I don't see it on here. But that's because we're running Python, right? And move time the scope of the move time um, variable uh, does not start until we sort of declare and initialize it in this one line. So if I say, all right, well, do, you know, uh, execute this statement and go on to the next line, I can do that by saying um, step into, which sort of means if I'm about to run, if I'm near a function, if I could run a function right now, run it. Um, otherwise, it's just do the thing. Um, step over means if I have a function, do the function in one step instead of stepping in deeper. Um, and step return, I guess, means leave this function. I don't know. I haven't used that one. Um, anyway, I'm going to, I'll do step over. Um, and now I'm here. And if you look, look, there's a new variable called move time, right? And, um, and so I can now do things like, I don't want to hit resume. Well, if I did that, it would just start everything um, uh, running again. Um, but I can also, oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. If I say resume, then next time I get to this point, I'll be able to look here again. So it'll stop again at the breakpoint, right? So if I say resume, it means keep going, but stop if you hit any breakpoints. Oh, look, there I am. I'm at another breakpoint. Um, Move time was zero. Move time is now zero. Oh, well, it's not very interesting. Um, resume. Is move time going to change at all? No. Move time seems to still be zero. Is there anything else that I would be interested in? Ooh, look. Move time gets plus equals blah, blah, blah. Ooh, let's do this. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to set another breakpoint here, and I'm going to keep going and keep going, and I don't seem to get to that point ever. Let's just remove this breakpoint. And we'll keep going. We'll see if we get to that other breakpoint ever or if it just um, stops. Oh, here it's moving ah, really fast. And I just got eaten. So, all right. Well, the game is over. So, um, so yeah, we don't we don't get there. I picked a bad uh, breakpoint, but we can get rid of the breakpoint. Anyway, you get the idea. There's step over. There's step into there is um, resume. Those are the key things that you need to you need to look at. It um, looks like I can also see are these my breakpoints? There you go, right? It can show me where all of my breakpoints are. Um, so let's remove that breakpoint. I was right clicking there, by the way. Okay. Um, and just remember to leave the debug perspective when you're done because you have to manually tell it to go back into the um, regular Python perspective.